Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2021 ski test. Today we're talking about the Black Crows Ferox Freebird. Uh, this ski is really, really cool. It was designed because Black Crows athletes kind of wanted a backcountry touring ski, a powder ski with, uh, with a twin tip. You know, so this is a pretty unique ski. Um, Poplar, Polonia, and Isocore in this ski's construction and basically they mill the core into this H shape. So they're taking out some of the material in the center of the ski. And I will tell you that this thing is pretty darn light. Um, this is a Solomon shift binding on here, which isn't the lightest Alpine touring binding, but still being 110 underfoot, uh, and what is this, a 181.4 with this binding on it, it is pretty darn light. Um, so pretty much perfect ski if you're looking to Get out in the backcountry and ski a bunch of soft snow uh, and do it with a ski that's really, really fun and really playful too. Um, so not much camber in these skis at all. You know, a few of Black Crow skis really don't have much camber, but there is a little under there. And then really long and low rocker, uh, mostly in the tip, although we do get some subtle rocker back there in the tail. Um, and this is a very unique tail shape, you know, having that much rise, that much of a twin tip shape, but also having a flat spot for a skin attachment. That's not something that you see very often. Um, you know, we reached out to a lot of Black Crows athletes and ambassadors. A lot of them were saying they turned to the Ferox Freebird more than they expected to. Um, because it's got such a wide range, you know, if they're going on a trip somewhere and they're not 100% sure what they're going to be skiing, although they're probably going to be in the backcountry, a lot of them were saying they, they go to this ski because it'll deliver pretty much no matter what the conditions are. Um, so you get pretty darn good stability for a ski that's this lightweight. So if you want to ski fast down an aggressive backcountry line, it'll do that. Maybe you want to like, maybe you found a wind lip and you want to do some trick off it and land switch. This is one of the only like real dedicated Alpine touring skis that I can think of that'll do that really, really well. Um, super, super lightweight, but this H shape, you know, keeping that, that metal along the edges of the ski gives it a pretty darn stable feel too. Um, you know, I, I do think it's, it's a pretty specific application. I don't think we need to beat around the bush on this ski. You know, I, I don't necessarily think you should choose it if you're not going to put an Alpine Touring binding on it. I guess there could be some people that would like that. Um, but in my opinion, it, it, you're better off getting it as a touring ski than a resort ski. You know, there's so many other skis within Black Crow's line that you could choose as more of a resort ski. Um, but I don't want to take anything away from this ski's performance. Uh, and if you do really value, if you, if you specifically want a lightweight ski for inbounds, this would certainly work. Or, you know, put a binding like the shift on it and it could work. It crosses over between resort and backcountry and, and everything in between. You know, I, in fact, I think the shift or like a Duke PT uh, is pretty much the perfect binding for a ski like this, unless you want to go even lighter to like a Kingpin or a Dina Fit or something like that. Um, but yeah, really cool ski. Not too many skis in this width range that are really dedicated to being lightweight and, and having really good Alpine touring performance. So great ski to have from Black Crows, great ski to have in the ski world in general. Um, let us know if you have any questions about it. You can head on over to Ski Essentials, really read some really information, feedback, interesting feedback from some Black Crows guys that we reached out to. So I definitely encourage you to do that. Um, feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Really cool ski. I could talk more and more about it. I'd be, I'd be happy to because it's, it's pretty fascinating and I really like what Black Crows does in general. Um, so yeah, let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you out there in the backcountry trying to find some soft snow or something to jump off of.